This is my GoPro 11. And this should be my GoPro 12. But it's not. And you know why not? I've had to send it back to GoPro again. And I'm pissed off. Really pissed off. When I first saw the GoPro 12 and all the extra features it had above the GoPro 11, I thought, yeah, I'm going to have that. Flat profile and all the other things that comes along with it. Got to have one. So I spent a lot of money and I bought one. And it's been one of the worst decisions I have ever, ever made. I had it about two weeks. I've been out using it. I put it on charge in the kitchen where I am now and went and watched television in the living room while the battery charged ready for the next day. I walked in the kitchen and there's a smell of burning and I'm looking for what this smell was coming from. Anyway, I thought, hmm, it seems to be coming from the direction of my GoPro. So I got on my GoPro, I put my teeth in, I got hold of my GoPro and I put it, picked it up and that bloody thing was red hot. And when I say hot, I mean, you could have fried a bloody egg on it. It was cooking. I went to unplug the USB-C port and it was red. In fact, it burnt my bloody finger. I looked at it, got a cloth on it, unplugged it, turned it off, unplugged it. And it turned out it had not been charging at all. The thing was buggered. And when I say buggered, I mean buggered. I left it a few hours and... Plugged it back in, different charger, different cable, and it charged very, very slowly for a bit, and then stopped charging. I thought, well, I'll try it in the media mod. Now, if you know what, I'd like to be able to show you a media mod, but guess what? I can't, because guess why? That's gone back to GoPro as well. The media mod is buggered. And I loved my medium mod. I could wear it on my chest. And the thing about the... GoPro 12 over the GoPro 11 with the medium mod. With the GoPro 11, you've got a choice of using the front microphone, the back microphone, or the microphones on the camera. With the GoPro 12, allegedly, you could use the front microphone, the back microphone, both microphones on the medium mod, or the microphones on the camera. And I thought, well, that's going to be great. Because if I've got the camera here and I'm talking, it's picking me up and somebody in front of me is talking, it's picking them up. I thought it's going to be fantastic. No, not a prayer. The media mod would not work. The GoPro would not recognise the media mod at all. I tried the media mod in the GoPro 11 and it worked for a bit. I sent the GoPro 12 back. Two weeks later, they sent me a refurbished model. Well, I'm assuming it was a refurbished model. That lasted two bloody day and then it wouldn't charge the medium mod wouldn't recognize it the gopro 11 still recognized it but the medium mod wouldn't recognize it at all i have the gopro volta and it would connect via bluetooth but the charging unit on it wouldn't work either so once again i'm pissed off so it's now back along with the medium mod with gopro so that's going to be another two weeks so i thought yeah, I am resigned now to using the GoPro 11, which I did before, and I was, I was quite happy with it. It worked quite well, especially with it being chest-mounted like this. The, uh, the front microphone would pick everything up okay. It would pick me up, it would pick up anyone I was talking to. That was fine. But I wanted the uh, GoPro 12 for when I was in Egypt, so I could talk to my friends and record both of us. Didn't work, didn't work in Egypt. I had to wait to come back from Egypt to get it sent back. When I come back from Egypt, I stuck the old GoPro 11 in the medium mod, went out to do some video. Got back, I thought, oh, I've got some decent videos there. Now, I don't know if you know, but GoPro doesn't make one long clip. If you press record and you leave it recording, it doesn't make one long clip. Start to finish of the record, it splits it up into smaller clips. So I put the first clip into my editing software, edited that, put the second one into my uh, editing software, and I thought, what's going off here? Beautiful picture, everything was fine, but there was no audio at all. I thought, what's going off? I took the uh, SD card, put it into three different computers, nothing. I tried the, um, the third clip, and there was audio on that, but the whole video was ruined. At the end of the first clip, 
somebody's coming up when you can't video here, you can't do this, you can't do that. Then I've got a whole clip where he's talking to me and going mad because I'm videoing. And then at the beginning of the third clip, he goes, right, I'm phoning the police, I'm going. And that's all I got. I got him coming up saying, you can't video here. And then him disappearing saying he's going to phone the police. And none of the conversation, which lasted about 10 minutes, in between. On the second video, it did not exactly the same. It did it with the last clip. And on the third video that I made, it did it again. But it did it in the middle of the second clip. So the beginning of the second clip, I'd got audio. Halfway through, it stopped recording audio. The third clip no audio until it was halfway through and then I had audio again. I just, I could not believe it. I was absolutely, totally gutted. I spent a whole day out video trying to make some film, you know, for you people on YouTube and I got absolutely nothing with it. So I was really, really, really pissed off. So as you can tell, I'm making a review of the GoPro. And all I can say to you is don't buy one. It's got that many flaws. I mean, don't get me wrong, when it works, it works fantastic. And it's brilliant. The picture on it's good, the sound quality is good, but you just cannot rely on the damn thing. And that's no good. When I go out and I press that record button, I want to be able to know that video has recorded everything as it should. Good picture, good audio, so I can fetch it home and make a decent video out of it to go on. I don't want 10 minutes in the media, in the middle of the video. I don't want 10 minutes in the middle of the bloody video where I can't use. I can't use it at all. That's no good. Don't buy a GoPro. So what I'm starting to do now is going back to my old camera. And I have it here, the Insta360 X3. I've just taken it off charge, that's why it's making that noise. There we go, it's turning itself on because I've uh, just faced it off charge. Now this is a cracking little camera. It will still go on my body mount. It'll go on that way around, so the screen's next to me. And I can video everything all the way around. Up, down, you know, to my right, to my left, everything. The only problem with it is, the editing process takes quite a bit long. But if that's what I've got to do, that's what I've got to do. All I'm saying to you is, GoPro, get your bloody act together. So, yes, okay, I'm making reviews of cameras. And my review of the GoPro is, do not bother. Don't invest your money in one. I am going to buy a DJI Action 4, I think. Or I might even just carry on using this cracking little camera. The picture quality on it's good. I can plug a microphone into it and everything else. I might just use that. I'll give up with GoPro now. When this one comes back, if I have the same problem once again, all I'm going to do is send it back and get my money back. It's absolutely crazy. This will be the third, what, third one I've had. And if the third one packs up, it's not me. It's the camera. It's the GoPro. So, don't buy a GoPro! I don't think GoPro will be sponsoring me anymore. <laughs> well, not that they did anyway, but I don't think GoPro will be coming along and saying, oh, we'll sponsor you on there, uh, PJ, and uh, see if you can sell us some cam. But no, don't buy one. Do not buy one. Buy an Insta X3 or the uh, DJI Action 4. Seems to be much better cam. Now, I know a lot of people, when they make reviews about equipment and cameras and things like that. They get a camera free and they're very, very biased on what they say. I think you'll find that PJ is unfiltered. In other words, if it's crap, I'll tell you it's crap. I'll not say, yeah, it's all right here and I don't like this rad. I'll say, it's bloody rubby. And at the moment, I'm a free, I'm a I'm afraid, you know, my GoPro, my opinion of GoPro is rubbish. Brilliant when it works, but it's not reliable. And you need something that's reliable. I mean, even if you're not doing what I'm doing, if say you're going on holiday, like I've just been, and you go away and you trot off to Egypt or Spain or Italy or wherever you go, and you get back to the hotel, play your footage back because you've been somewhere really, really nice. You've been on one of these excursion things. And you've got a video that you just can't use. You know, uh, I have had occasions, and I don't think it was the SD card because I've used the SD card in other things, where the picture's all lined. You 
you can't see anything or it's all wall and I've had a, a, a occasions where obviously there's no audio you want something that's reliable and I'm afraid GoPro cameras are not reliable enough get yourself something else what I use most of all when I was on holiday was it's the camera that I'm using now uh, a little Sony ZV-1 brilliant little camera it does fantastic video as you can see it takes fantastic photos it shoots jpeg it shoots raw it does everything that you want you can plug a microphone in like this and uh, stand well back from the camera and it all works or you can plug a microphone directly into the camera whichever way you want to do it find something different to go anyway that's my uh, review of gopro cameras if you found it useful or helpful please give it a thumbs up please share please subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye everybody